so this is the second lecture in the playlist on pointers in C and here we will learn about the ampersand and the dereferencing variables st st star okay so we have here a integer okay so we define here int i is equal to 5 and float j is 2.456 okay something we define and let's say here we have integer that is again let's say 2 byte okay so we have integer in our computer which is stored in 2 bytes and float okay so float which is there for 4 byte so now what happens is when I declare these so somewhere on your computer this will be stored so this is your memory location okay and we have 5 so what happens is int i is equal to 5 so this is let's say memory location 1001 and where your int is stored so 5 will be stored so let's say lsb of 5 is stored here and msb which is 000 it is stored here so this is there and representation why you need to verify but the, in these two bytes your 5 is stored and then let's say this is 1050 okay and here your float j is getting stored so this again this is 4 so let's say it starts at 1049 1050 and it stops at 1052 so these four bytes memory locations are required for storing your float value now what happens is that to this is i is the variable to know its address you have to do ampersand i so this will give you 1001 if it's stored here and that also the starting memory location it might require more than one memory location so this will give you the starting memory location and similarly for j which is a float it will give you okay if it's starting at 1049 it will give you the starting memory location of that j so now you want to print these okay so let's try to see one thing we come to this code we will here look at something more so this ampersand i was to find the memory okay so if it is i is stored at memory location 1001 it will print that now what is the other way around if i'm saying that okay let's see what is stored at 1001 memory location so what you can do if ampersand i now stores this it is the value is 1001 so if you put a star here it means it will give you the value that is stored at this memory location okay so this is another thing if i have a very small table a computer which just stores a play computer which has just four memory locations 0 1 2 and 3 and it stores 5 years 6 110 and 25 so now if I ask you that, okay, one way is that, okay, where is this is variable i, j, k and l, okay. If I ask you, okay, I, what is the value of i variable i, you will say 5. But where is i located? It's located at memory location 0. But other way around, where, what is the value stored in memory location 2? So what, what is stored here? So how will you answer? So the thing is you need to use the star operator okay and how you use so before that we know that okay to define store some value I use variables like int i okay so I know that okay it will have some I've defined a variable i which can store some integer value but what will I do to store a memory location of integer okay or to store the memory location of a float so for that we need integer pointer or a float pointer okay so for that you need to have int star i integer ptr so this tells me now that this is not a simple variable okay not a simple integer variable it is basically a variable that can store address of a 
pointer variable so this is i have int star iptr so this can store now the address where an integer is located so i is an integer so if i do ampersand i i know that okay it can give me the address of integer that integer and i can store that address in the variable pointer to an integer which is int star iptr so now if i do int star iptr is equal to ampersand i so i will have iptr the value in iptr will be zero which is the memory location so this is there now to store the memory location we use integer pointers but how the next question is if i have give you a memory location and i ask you the value there okay so what will you do so just put a star before the integer pointer variable okay so this will give you the value there and that's what we have used here so we will let's try the code itself okay so that is the best way out so we have this so we built this code so we have i is 5 a integer variable j is 2.456 we put the address of i as ampersand i okay and then we have value as i and what is the address here of i ampersand i but from that address if i want the val value that is stored in that address you have to use again star and if you have to store the memory location of some integer then what you need to do is you need to define a pointer to an integer that will store the val variable that will store the address of a variable so int star iptr is ampersand i if you print this it will give you the memory location of what value integer variable the address of that but star iptr will give you the value so let's try that out so you see here address of i variable i i defined it's 2686788 okay so somewhere it is located and my address is in fact 1234567 okay so 2 to the power of 7 address spaces are there in fact 7 bytes are there here okay so value of i is 5 and then again i try to find the value using star of ampersand i which means ampersand i represents the address of i and star if you put there it will dereference it and give you the value then what happens i use iptr and again from that i get the address same as that was obtained using ampersand i because integer pointer just stores the address of a integer and again if you dereference it using star iptr it will give you the value so i hope you understand this thanks a lot